you call it that in, in your country. Like, I don't know exactly what it would be called, but they're more craft and they're made specifically like for season and for certain tastes. And I know a lot of people are loving that. So, okay. So we have cold beers versus fun times. I'm going to, I'm going to go back to a hype cast. So those of you who watch my chill cast, let me know if you like the hype cast or the chill cast better. And if it's a little bit of both, tell me why. Cause like I said, I want to bring the best experience to you that I can. So Taya ended up actually grabbing Cyclone, which I'm a little surprised on. Maybe she's worried about the pressure from Shifu and maybe thinking about trying to get some stunts. And then we saw that the, the barrier knockback from Lucy, which I think is smart because the Shifu is going to be really pain to deal with. So the team's clashing. A lot of the poke coming out. A little bit of pressure on the Shifu. Going to be in on that counter. See that pushback immediately. That is really good. Gets the double impale, though. So really unfortunate here. Four cold beers. Good job leaping away. This this looks like it's actually lining up to be a decent match so far. The counter triggered, though. Shifu going back towards the middle. Missed who got that mid. If anybody saw who got that, let me know. Double in cap, though is going to be super dangerous and you see him taking down to half health so great job right now poking from both teams however the main poke is going to be the victor for fun times the counter going to be triggered again oh no onto the lucy lucy taking so much damage the fear not going to hit because of the flea foot and now so much damage under the crow crow going to be taken out taya is in a bad position she gets in cap killed and that is going to be all she wrote here for round number one for cold beers so good job so far. One person did say would like a low-key informative cast. Okay, that's what I did last time. So, so let me know, uh, guys, now, like if you think, ah, I like the low-key cast a little bit better, that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for the low-key, so let me know. And then Falrin says, hi, guys, first time watching gameplay of Battle Ray. Everybody, welcome Falrin. Give this guy some love. Everybody, right now in chat, let him know that he is appreciated here in this community and let him know that we love love having people join our community so welcome Farin. thank you for joining us i appreciate it bring your friends bring all your friends all you our friends belong to us and we'll see how this goes so right now getting that poke unfortunately that counter not hit from shifu so that that's a little unfortunate he's gonna be a little vulnerable but rides around right onto the lucy you see him taking a little bit of poke gets the double impale taking him down so low what a great lineup there for the double impale lucy though getting taken down the fear good job tornado gonna save her great great job here comes the x strike is gonna hit but she is so low where did she take that damage from oh my gosh there's the kill from old door and a really great play there lining up those double impales it's so hard for lucy to keep up the heels onto multiple people most of the healers in this have a hard time with multiple people but really good job. You see old Doer actually stop playing here by Void King as his team cleans it up. So, oh my goodness, ridiculous. Oh, goodness. They clean it up. Nice job. I like casters who give interesting facts about abilities, help the community learn. Okay, I'm going to try to keep that in mind. Sainu, what up, what up? If you guys don't know, Sainu is like one of the top players from BLC. Really, really awesome. And that guy is just great. Super, super awesome. I prefer the style of casting where basically just listening to some player who is genuinely interested in the match and has some knowledge to share. I like casters who give interesting facts about abilities, help community learn. And then uh, ResDev says, have you thought about having a co-caster? And if so, who would you pick? I have definitely thought about it. And to be honest, um, I haven't thought about who. So I'm not really sure. For me, I want to have someone I can have a conversation with. And that's what it's about for me. We can talk about different interactions. We can talk about different play styles. Because that's what I want from a co-caster. Most of the people I know right now, we basically are fighting for play-by-play -play or fighting for analytics. There's, I haven't really super jived with anybody quite yet. But hopefully that'll come. But Taya taking so much damage. Using her tornado, but goes the other way of her team. So with the tornado, you can go any direction. But she ends up choosing to go away for her team, which I think was a deadly mistake. As you see, she's taking down super low. Great stun onto that ultimate of Shifu. But is it going to be enough as Shifu is actually pretty low? Croak going back in. Going to use the Deceit. Taken out, though, by the blind shot from Jumong. Really disgusting play there. And a great M2 to follow that up onto the ultimate. So super good job. I like casters who don't say rude things about players. Well, I hope I don't say rude things. Let me know if I do say any rude things. I hope not. <laughs> I am watching Turney to learn something to play better. Well, that is good. It sounds like a lot of people are coming here to learn. So I'm going to try to highlight a lot of those things then. So it sounds like specifically the people here are trying to learn. So I'll see what I can do about highlighting different skill use. If you guys have questions, I'll try to answer it. 
and we'll see. And then I, I think what I'll do, though, is I'll do a little bit of hype casting then when someone gets close to dying. It's hard, though, because people die so fast in this game. So I'm actually surprised Whirling Blade was grabbed here by Condemned. So I didn't think that the top players were actually fans of those, but Condemned wants to keep his energy up when he gets those in-caps. Those in-caps can be really, really strong. And you see him using his mount. Full Daniel said one of the things people need to learn about Shifu is how to gap close with his mount. And actually, the counter not triggered there. This is the opportunity to actually put a lot of pressure on the Shifu, but nobody really turning on him. They're focusing on Jumong, and now Shifu's going to have his counter back up. So that is really unfortunate here for Cold Beers. But Oldur actually caught way out of position, taken down to half, which is a good play there from Cold Beers. The ultimate... Goodness be stopped immediately from Croak. What a great play. But actually, it was so fast that he has enough energy to ult again. And there is the kill on Tatea. There's the kill on the Croak. And now Lucy's going to be the last person standing as it is going to be four straight rounds. Or is it? Yep, four straight rounds here. Four fun times. Uh, Zazba says, you should watch 2v2 to learn. 3v3 is too hectic to learn. It's more entertainment ex uh, expecting people to have the knowledge. Oh, Moa said he, he likes when people do say rude things. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be that guy. I, I prefer not to say rude things, but funny, though. I like that you like that. That is hilarious. And I actually like that point there from, from Zab Games because being able to, to really follow what's going on is important to learn. 3v3s, like he said, is really hectic. So I'm going to do a straight-up hype cast on this one and see what you guys think. So... All right, both teams are going to clash in the middle. Shifu trying to ride in. The counter will be coming out likely pretty soon here. There it is. Will they be able to blow him up now? He has no counter. The root is going to be hit, but the Fleet Foot going to make him immune. Putting pressure out of the Lucy. Lucy going to use the barrier to get away. Taya doing some zoning. The counter trigger, though. Lucy in super danger. And it's taking so much pressure from those impales. Good job by Taya to appeal, though. The double impale ultimate is going to take her out. Unfortunate there for Lucy. Her, her teammate accidentally hit that counter. And that's the thing, you hitting a counter, especially in your relation to who's in danger, can be bad because it brings the Shifu or whoever closer to the person in danger. And that's exactly what happened there. And Cold Beer is going to be cleaned up here. They have been drank dry by Fun Times. Fun Times said, you know what's fun? Fun is having lots of beers and we will drink them all. So you are no more. So good job here by Fun Times.